Hey y'all, what's up and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Somali. Coming on here with another freaking video. I got some tea for y'all, okay? So here I have my new iPhone 14. And y'all... It's a whole lot of scheme scamming and flim flamming out here in these streets. And I don't know who did it. So y'all, I have been waiting literally a whole week just to unbox this for y'all and tell y'all what's been going on. All of this controversy, I got a whole case open. It's a whole investigation. It's an investigation with Verizon. It's an investigation with UPS. And I have an entire open investigation at the police station. I actually need to go ahead and pick up my police report. So I've been waiting all week just to unbox this for y'all and let y'all know what's been going on. So this is my second iPhone Pro Max uh, 14 that I received in literally a week. A week. I kid you not. So my first phone, I ordered it on a Saturday. I ordered it because I'm trying to get back on YouTube. I'm trying to make some content. I was going to get like a regular camera to film, but I'm like, you know what? I actually need another phone for business purposes because my old phone broke. So I'm like, you know what? Let me get an iPhone 14. Let me go ahead and just upgrade my phone. So I ordered the phone. They say that it's going to be shipped out in two days. The phone arrives in two days. The UPS man brings my other packages to my door. He brings my other packages to my door. He looks at the name that's listed on the package and says, Somali, I just delivered, I just gave an iPhone 14 to someone around the corner and it was a male. It was a male with your first name, your last name and your address. So I'm looking like, I gotta put the phone down. So I'm looking like, I'm like, no, Somali is a female. You deliver packages here all the time. Like, how, how did you not know that Somali was a female? Like, wasn't a female. He said, no, they approach me around the corner. He sends me footage. He sends me footage. But I'll get into that later in the video. Y'all, it's literally like my stomach fell to my ass. Like, my stomach dropped. I felt so scared for myself. I felt so scared for, like, my safety. I'm wondering, oh, my God, it's literally a male walking around here acting like he's me. So, the UPS guy said that it had his face on the ID my first name my last name and my address so he's like you know I'm, I'm i'm so sorry but i asked for the identification this is the ups guy i asked for the identification he gave me the identification i asked him what are you gonna do about your other packages and he was like oh i'll pick it up later so my mom is here and i'm like my mom is like no this is this is an inside job this is an inside job and the UPS guy is like, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry this happened. You can call the cops. Um, you can go put in, put in a police report. Actually, let me take your phone number. I'm going to give it to my supervisor. He says, you know what? I'm going to give you my supervisor's phone number. He says, you know what? If she don't pick up this phone number, here's the other phone number. Call her. So I'm looking like, you know... In my head, I'm standing there like it look. He he looked so sincere. Like the UPS guy looked really sincere. He looked like he didn't want to take my package. He looked like he didn't steal it. He looked like he didn't have anything to do with it. I call Verizon and let them know what happened. I call UPS, let them know what happened. I talked to his supervisor um, and told her what happened. She was like, "What? That happened? Let me call him." And then, I kid you not, four hours later, I received a video, two videos to my phone. 
Guys, this is an open investigation. This investigation is still open. He says, I received uh, two videos to my phone. Mind you, I'm already feeling this eerie feeling. I'm already feeling violated. Like, I feel so violated. I feel like, yo, like somebody's really out here impersonating me. Do they have my social number? How they know where I live at? How they get all of this personal information? Like, how? I get these two videos. I'm looking at the videos, and I'm like, this is crazy. I'm like, yo, I can literally see a guy standing by a car. He looks Spanish. Uh, he had his hair up in a ponytail. He looked like he was about six feet tall. This is what the UPS guy told me. So the UPS guy is delivering a package. He's walking into the back. He's walking back up the driveway. And then that's when the guy approached him. Had the UPS guy not sent me this video, I would have been like, nah, bro. Like, why are you sending me a video? Like, why are you so invested in, in sending me something? He actually went back to the place where the guy approached him at and got the video footage. Like, everybody got a camera at their house. So I'm like, why would he go through all of this trouble to get this footage? Is he trying to clear his name? Is he trying to show that, you know, he actually didn't have anything to do with it? Maybe he orchestrated these people to do this because only UPS drivers know what is in that package. So it's just like, no way, no way. And then um, it looks like some, the video is very blurry and I don't want to release the video because... If I release this video and it's open investigation, like I don't I don't know what's gonna happen. As the guy is requesting the phone, you can see someone standing on the passenger side of the vehicle as well. And then you also see like a blue Dodge uh, car pull up. They're talking to the other guy that's at the passenger side, and then they pull off. So it's just like the video don't make sense at all. And then it's also like the UPS driver looks like he's making direct eye contact with the camera as it's recording, like him talking to the other guy. It's just so much going on in the video. So I'm reviewing this. I'm feeling like sick to my stomach. I don't know who sent me these videos. So I reply back like, who is this? Like, And it was like, and he was like, oh, this is a UPS. He was like, oh, this is a UPS guy. So I'm like, all right. So I'm sitting home and I'm trying to just reevaluate, like, who could have had my information? I'm not around anyone, you know. I'm not, I, I don't have dealings with people who will want to steal my stuff. I, I don't, I don't know anybody that fits that description. Like, I don't, who would have my personal information? Who would be able to literally make a fake ID? Literally, they made a fake ID in a matter of two days. That does not make any sense. They made a fake ID in a matter of two days. Two weekend days. These, these This isn't even two business days, y'all. This is two weekend days. So it, it was just so mind-boggling to me. And I was so scared. And literally the car in the video, it was a white BMW with tent plates. So I'm in the house. I'm feeling this eerie feeling. I'm like, you know what? I'm about to call the cops. I call the cops. They tell me, come on down to the station. So I leave my house. I'm closing the door. I'm coming outside my gate. I'm looking both ways. I'm looking in cars to see if anybody's watching me. Why? Why do I see a white BMW with tent plates parked up the street from my house? From my house, y'all. So I am like, I was already scared to come outside because I feel like, yo, somebody's watching me. How would they know I ordered an iPhone? How would they know when it was coming? How did they get my address? How did they got my first name? How did they got my last name? Like... This is a very scary situation. I've never been in no situation like this before. Over a phone? 
like how 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 all of these details is like going through my head so like i'm walking to my car in my driveway and my back is hot you know how your back get hot like when you feel somebody looking at you like your back like my back get hot i hop in the car boom lock the door i'm looking down the street i'm looking to see like yo like is it anybody in that car they did low are they trying to shoot me like i am scared i am scared because to me forget about the phone it wasn't even about the phone at that point it was about my personal information it was about my information being out there and not knowing who is in the hands of like it's in the hand of a criminal i don't know what they're about to do with my personal information as i'm driving to the police station i'm not even driving like straight to my destination i'm zigzagging like through the streets i'm going up one street turning down another going up one street going back down going up one street going back up because it looks like the white bmw is behind me it looks like i'm being followed i'm feeling like i'm in a fishbowl like i'm feeling like somebody about to shoot up my car y'all don't understand my paranoia was through the roof I finally make it to the police station. It's about 7 o'clock at night. I had just got off work not too long ago. It's about 7 o'clock at night. I'm at the police station. I'm explaining to them what happened. Um, and the lady behind the desk, she was really, really sweet. This officer was so sweet. Um, she was like, as I'm explaining to her, she said, no, this this don't sound right. I've never heard of nothing like this. She said, you wouldn't have like an ex or something that um, would have done this or somebody around you that would have done this. No. She said, did anybody know you were getting a phone? No. No one knew I was getting a phone. No one knew. My boyfriend didn't even know. Like, no one no one knew I was getting this phone. It just did not make sense to me. So she's like, you know, um, the investigator isn't in. They're going to be in tomorrow between the hours of 9 o'clock and 3 p.m. I'm like, all right, I'll just come back tomorrow. And then she's like, you know what, I'll just go ahead and take your report, and they're going to give you a call. So I gave her the all the information that she needed. Um... I get back home, I'm riding down my block, the same white BMW was parked there, and then I finally get close up on it. It's a it's a Nissan. Like it ain't it ain't, you know, but it's I was just so paranoid. I was just so paranoid. I get home. Um I call the supervisor again, um, just to like cause cause it's just not like sitting well with me i'm like you know i really think your driver and everybody had told me like i called my dad i told my dad i told my brother i told my mother i told my aunt i told my friends like my circle is so small so when something like traumatic goes on in my life i make sure i reach out to the people that's close to me because i want to bring awareness to this like if they're ever going through something like this, I want them to know, like, how to handle it and also, like, what to keep an eye out on, you know what I mean? And if I feel like I'm not safe, I want to let them know what's going on so they can, like, you know, ride by my crib, you know, just, just whatever. Just be knowledgeable and just keep an eye out for me, which they already do. So I tell everybody and everybody's like, no, UPS, UPS stole your phone. UPS stole your phone. It's so many news articles about UPS workers stealing phones. UPS stole your phone. I called the supervisor back for UPS, and I'm like, you know what? I really feel like, you know, the UPS worker stole my phone because why would he drop off a big package for me, which I need to do an unboxing for y'all. Why would he drop off a big package for me? and not give me my phone like why drop off one huge package and then give my phone away to someone else that does not make any sense that does not make any sense to me 
she's like i understand sweetie but it's it's far going on all over the place we actually had someone come here to the facility with a fake id and was requesting a phone so we don't know what could be going on these are like hackers i honestly think it's verizon i think verizon is doing this and i don't know i really don't know so I have a whole open investigation over this iPhone 14 Pro Max and it's it's a really scary situation but I can honestly say everybody worked with me like Verizon sent me out a new phone in two days like all I had to do was go online and order another phone they refunded me for my other phone um so everything happened like within a day like I got everything back within a day but it's still like for me it wasn't about the phone it was more so like it was like my personal information it was like somebody impersonating me it was like it's some like i don't know I, that invasion of privacy or feeling like you're not safe y'all i was literally i was on zillow looking up like houses looking up apartments like i was like you know i'm gonna sell my house i'm gonna move like i'm so serious all because i felt i felt unsafe but here's the phone i still have an open investigation i don't even know if i'm supposed to be like talking about this but honestly i feel like awareness needs to be brought to this so this is the iphone 14 pro max in the color gold this is also a 1t one terabyte if that's how you call it i don't know if you can see that but you could just pull this forward so <laughs> yeah it's so pretty it's so pretty so, this is what I've been making all the ruckus about. Um, this is what it looks like fresh out of the packaging. In the box, they also give you a charger piece. They do not give you a wall adapter. And that's it. That's all they give you for this phone. But what do y'all think about this whole situation? Who do you think stole my phone? Do you think that it's some high-tech hackers that were able to make a fake ID, get the location of my address, get my first name, get my last name, and also get the tracking information to know when and where to be to get the phone? Do you think that the UPS driver orchestrated the phone being taken? Did he call his boys up? Did he call his boys up and was like, yo, like, I'm delivering this iPhone 14 to this girl over here and blah, 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 blah. Um, meet me around the corner. I'ma just be like, yeah, he showed me an ID. He showed me an ID with your first name, your last name, and your address on it. Because they have to cover their behind. Like, he can't just say, oh, somebody said that they were Somali and I just gave him the phone. No. He had to say that they had an ID with my name on it. Otherwise, it would be like, why are you giving an ID? Why are you giving a phone to somebody that don't even have that name? Like, that's not UPS protocol. So did he do that? Did he orchestrate it? Did Verizon see me order this and somebody on the backhand side and IT or whatever is like, yeah, we got this delivery to this phone um, over here and blase, blase, blah. I'm going to need you to go over there. I'm going to need, um, we going to set you up with some people. We going to print you out an ID. We going to print you out an ID with your face on it her first name her last name her address all her information and you go there and you act like you her and you get the phone you get the phone because think about it only two people knew what i ordered 
Only two people knew when it was going to be delivered. Only two people knew my address, my first name, and my last name. What do y'all think? Drop it in the comments. This is crazy. This is crazy. I, so I did hear before I end this video, I did hear that it is so much of this going around. So I want to bring awareness to this. Like it's a lot of fraud stuff going around. So I don't know. I'm, I'm left in the dark until this investigation ends. I don't know if somebody really has my information or if the UPS lied and he actually didn't see an ID with my information on it. You know what I mean? But deep down in my heart, I just don't like, I'm a woman and I think with my emotion. I would not think that this, this man orchestrated getting my phone taken. But this is why I called my dad, my, my dad and my stepdad and my brother and got their opinion on it. My dad was like, no, they're running game. My brother was like, no, UPS is running game. My man was like, oh, no, they run a game. Like, so what do y'all think? And I want to thank you guys so freaking much for watching this video. I will be using my iPhone 14 Pro Max to bring you guys more content. And I don't know, how's the quality of this video? Because I literally use my MacBook to record but I'm hoping to bring you guys better quality with the iPhone Pro Max. And be sure to look out for other content. Hit that like button and comment down below and subscribe to see if the quality improves in my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, so Somali. So Somali.